block around an order. And that kind of makes sense for expect this to be true. Now we've only really looked at arrow on the left rule. We've got some arrows on the right as well. So let's take a quick look at the arrow on the right rule. Actually, I did mention that earlier, didn't I? But we'll look at it again because we haven't for a while. An arrow on the right basically says, instead of saying if A, we make A an assumption or premise. Now from A we can prove B, that means if A then B. We just move the, the um, antecedent to being a premise. That's an arrow on the right. Those are really nice rules. It gives us more premises, which gives us more flexibility, and it simplifies our conclusion, which gives us more flexibility. So I normally don't mind which order I do the rules, but I like to do this rule first. This is my, my rule that I'm always keenest to do. It's kind of the same as arrow introduction. You see an arrow at the bottom. The cube becomes an assumption, and you're trying to prove this. So it's the same sort of thing. The cube becomes an assumption, and you're trying to prove the bit afterwards, and of course we still had all our old premises. Old premises and an extra assumption Q, we're not trying to prove the bottom part. That really is our arrow introduction from before. What we've got is arrow on the right. And again, we've made things simpler. Every <coughs> formula here is as simple as what we had before, and one gets simpler. Every time we get a simpler formula. That also means you've got like seven connectives. You know you're never going to have more than eight lines because every line gets rid of a connective. So your proof will not get long. Because sometimes your proofs could get 20, 30, 40 lines long in natural deduction. You've got six connectives, it's a seven line proof. At most, plus copy if you have to copy lines. So you've got upper limits. Okay, so now we've got an arrow on the right. We just told ourselves that the arrow on the right is something we do straight away. This means if we assume P, we can prove R. I told you this gives us more assumptions, more premises. We're going to add to what we've got our new assumption P. We're just trying to prove R. This is very much like what you do in natural deduction. It might actually draw the natural deduction thing beside us as we go. Um, here's our premise. And here's our conclusion. Q implies P implies R. We're going to go Q. P and <coughs> from Q to R. The P goes P, therefore R. This is what we've done so far. Those two rules here have constructed these two assumption blocks with adding new premises. And I guess there's rules involved here or something or other. And there's numbers, there's whatever. Okay, so now we've only got an arrow on the left. We're going to have to use that arrow on the left rule to break it up, which is arrow elimination in here. So if we did the natural deduction, we'd go P, P implies something, we put the other thing there. We're going to do the same thing here, we're going to break this down. This becomes a conclusion of something, and this becomes one of the premises of something. And we have to rearrange the rest of our pieces here. Well this Q, we'll keep as a premise over here. This P is a premise, we'll put a premise over here. This R is a conclusion, we'll put the conclusion over here. Why? Because then we've got one of them done, and the other one looks reasonable. Q, and if Q then R, therefore R. What have we got? We've got a Q, which we haven't used yet. So Q then R, and an R over here. Finally, we're going to break down this, I think we've got arrow on the left. Finally, we're going to break down another arrow on the left. Antecedent the arrow becomes the bit after sort of the concept the conclusion, the bit after the turnstile. This R will become a premise before the turnstile. We need to put this Q on one of these sides as a premise. This R on one of them as a conclusion. And that is the same as saying from this and this we get this. So every move we do here corresponds to either a, a line or an assumption block in a natural deduction. When you get stuck on this, you can do a natural deduction. When you get stuck on this, you can do one of these. And they tend to get stuck at different points. Just showing that there's an exact parallel between.